This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 Do you want the chance to go ahead and win £10 gift card this month? Simply, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and make sure you go ahead and comment down below why you want to win. What is going on my fellow floppers and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video guys, what I have for you is a gun that could potentially help you become a lot better within Call of Duty and it can also help you become a better player throughout the year of this game. Now before we do come with this video guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and drop a like on today's video and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and turn on those notifications because I'm uploading Call of Duty World War content every single day. So anyway guys, let's jump right into the video. So the weapon we're going to be using is the Type 100. Now, of course, a lot of you people are probably thinking, well, the bar's like the best weapon in the game. We're going to talk about that in a couple of videos' time. However, the Type 100 has got to be the best SMG within Call of Duty World War 2. Between this and the PPSH, but I will tell you the reason why I think the Type 100 slightly edges it throughout the video. Now, of course, at the beginning of Call of Duty, everybody wants to be the best player. Everybody wants to be really good. Everybody wants to rank up super, super quick and get to the highest prestige as soon as possible in case they ever had any extra prestigious uh, usually around February March time okay so this weapon is insane so of course we're gonna go over the class setup what I use for it in just a moment's time but just to let you know this weapon is like a laser beam like literally there's practically no recoil if you stick a fall grip on it there's absolutely no recoil but we're gonna go over the class setup the range on the weapon is also really really good it's something that's really beneficial for this call of duty bear in mind it is an SMG and the range is insane like trust me I play Gustav Cannon and I've actually got a a lot of kills you know cross map with this weapon it's absolutely insane but anyway guys let's actually get into the class setup so first of all then we're going to be using division airborne now airborne is brilliant for the smgs the only thing i don't like about this is it does not suppress your footsteps however what it does though it does actually allow you to have a suppressor on your weapon so it gives you one extra attachment but it only does it for the smgs it also lets you climb over walls quicker sprint for a longer time and also sprint quicker once it's fully leveled up now now, the basic training we are going to be using is Prime. Now, the Prime gives you one extra attachment. So, if you've already clicked on by now, guys, we've already got the suppressor. We get automatically get two attachments plus an extra attachment. It works out. We're getting four attachments on this weapon, which is insane. And then we do are using a secondary of the P08, and we're just using a, a standard frag grenade. Nothing too special down below there. So, having a look at the actual weapon, we're going to be using Quick Draw. First of all, guys, I was in two minds. You know, even like up to now, I'm still in two minds. I have to have Quick Draw or fall grip i've used it quite regular with both uh, i think i slightly prefer quick draw just a bit more but i can withstand the tiny little bit of recoil that's within the weapon now the reason why i'm using quick draw i like to get my sights up really really quickly also the advantage of when you're strafing around corners or moving around cor moving around corners there's guaranteed to be someone there so you need to rip and get your sights up and get you know your first few bullets down and try and get that kill as quick as possible now fall grip if you use fall grip there's literally no recoil within the game so it is something else you may want to potentially put on there but it's totally up to you guys which one would you prefer so you could either use fall grip or quick draw depends on what type of style player you are however with the fall grip it really does help for the longer gun fights quick draw really helps with the shorter gun fights so it's kind of the like a middle balance there unless you put them both on but you will understand in a moment why you don't need both on so the next attachment we're going to be using is extended mags now extended mags i love this because for the simple fact that when i get into the spawns because sometimes i do play hardcore it's more beneficial on there as well when I'm in the spawns, I tend to like need to reload after like every two or three kills or something. I think it's like every three kills on core and maybe like every six kills on hardcore depending on uh, how quick you can get the bullets down. And with uh, the extended mags, it knocks your bullets up to 45. I think you get like an extra 15 bullets within your magazine. Really, really beneficial and it's something that you all really do need to use with this weapon because the bullets just fly out of this gun. When I say fly out of this gun, you'll understand why in a moment why they fly out even quicker compared to a normal weapon. So of course then, talking about that, we do have the suppressor which is an automatic 
is well automatic attachment you can have on SMGs as long as you're using airborne now of course you don't have to keep the the uh, suppressor on all the time you can actually take it off if you'd like to but I tend to leave it on quite regular anyway so often I don't have it on and anyway guys the final attachment we're going to be using is rapid fire now rapid fire is probably the most overpowered attachment you can have on any weapon within this game now normally I'm not a big fan of rapid fire because it doesn't make a really big difference but for some reason within this game it's making a huge difference on your play style it's making a huge difference on how the whole game works now all you need to do is shoot three bullets and more than likely at close range you've already killed the enemy because how fast the bullets come out it really does make a huge difference and this is like I said it's the first Call of Duty that I've ever really enjoyed using rapid fire now of course with this gun having no recoil as well it makes the weapon feel like a laser beam the bullets come out really really quickly and of course there's no recoil there's there's no gun bouncing around and things like that plus we have the primed on which prevents any flinch when you're getting shot at so it just makes this you know this weapon all around a really really strong weapon to be using so this weapon is something I would really really recommend anybody to use since I've been using it my KD has improved I've been getting more kills more wins and just overall I feel like I'm a better player within the game it is a really good weapon so of course guys if you have enjoyed today's video and you're going to be going ahead and using this weapon let me know in the comment section down below also let me know what you feel about this game and let me know about what weapon is your strongest weapon within the game so far we are going to be doing a lot of other like uh, gun class setups well weapon class setups and things like that over the next upcoming week or so uh, just to help you guys try and find the right weapon balance and the right weapon for you so anyway guys if you have enjoyed today's video go ahead and drop a like on today's video make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here turn on the notifications and anyway guys I hope you've all had a fantastic day but as always guys I've been Penguin and I'll see you on the next video.